Got him. Oh, God, it's a real nice one. Yeah. Oh, look at that stud. Sea lies. Shabang. Yeah, buddy. There he is, on the retrieve. On the retrieve. On the retrieve. <laughs> okay, nobody panic. Oh, my God. Fish. Oh, it's a nice one too. Addicts, welcome back to another episode of Addicted Life. We got a fun one in store today. We got a little special guest here. The man, the myth, the legend, Big Dave. What's up, and guys? Looky, looky, he's got a fish on. So we've been kind of in between. We've been out in the big boats, got a big spurt of rain, and last minute decided to come out and do some river fishing. So if you guys want to see more of this, Stay tuned. Make sure you guys give us a big thumbs up. Go down, hit the like button. Share this out to your friends and family and stay tuned. It's gonna be a fun one. All right guys, so I am just getting baits cut up for the morning. These are all a different flavor egg, so this is kind of just a way that we split up our baits here just to make sure we have different flavors. They're all different cures, different hotness, some sweet, some hot, um, but it's always good to have a variety. So this way we can keep them in bait size chunks and keep them separated here so we know which pile we're grabbing from and we can kind of rotate through our baits. We've got a little bit of tuna, a little bit of sand shrimp, and uh, four different uh, cures of eggs here and we're gonna get baited up here and get some rods in the water. Hopefully a few bobber downs. There you go, buddy. The shrimp cocktail. Oh. Ooh. They like that one. Tuna egg shrimp. Tuna oh, egg boy. Shrimp. And I'll just go eggs and shrimp. On we'll do eggs and shrimp. There we go. Woo! That's bobber down. Oh, there you go. That's set for a neck breaker right there, buddy. Oh, I'm getting bit. I'm getting bit. Oh! Oh, look at me. Look at me. What's that? What's that? Oh, there he is. Oh, oh my! What are you I was just doing? reeling to mend my line, and then it decided that that's what they do. Did you see that? What's that? Bottom? That's fish. Yep, fish, fish. Oh, it's a nice one too. Wow. Ooh, what is it? Nice ducky, boy. Keepable? Ah, oh, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, yeah that's a good one. Wow, did you see how that might look? Dude, so like, like bottom, like I was bobber talking. I thought I was steelhead fishing for a minute. It's a hatchery fish. What the hell? Oh, perfect. All right, guys. Yeah, Dave, buddy. Dave with a beautiful Chinook. So. As you guys can see, this fish has a little bit of color. We've been a long time without some rain. These fish have been sitting in tide water for quite a long time. This fish still has sea lice on it. I yeah, mean, this fish is really. quite a few. He's, he's uh, not been in the river long. See all these sea lice down here? Even long tails on them yeah. still. Um, so, you know, this fish is, this, is, this fish would be a great eating fish. It's a buck, it's a hatchery fish. And this river does not get hatchery fish. So the this is a great one to kill. It's not a monster. It's a good one for the dinner table. And uh, we're gonna dispatch them and, yeah. and get back to fishing. Yeah, good buddy. job, buddy. All right. Heck yeah. Great job. Look at that bait right in the corner of the mouth. Look at this hook. That, it doesn't get any better than that, I don't think, right? No. Isn't that what you're trying to do? Poke that's, it around that jaw? That's what you're trying to do. <laughs> 
right at it because I'm going to catch one this cast, okay? Call my shot here. I'm going to cast right over Big Ooh. Dave and cut him off. That's, yeah. that's the first. When you're fishing with your buddies, always <laughs> cast <laughs> down river of them because then you catch the fish and they don't. <laughs> now he's going to hook one because I'm being his pulled, You just pulled the, pulled the fast track on me. And that's the zone. That's the zone. There might be a fish over there. This is the trick to bobber fishing. You just look away and just do something else and then your bobber goes down. <laughs> it happened to me earlier. <gasps> oh. Oh. What the? I'm sorry. I was looking at your bobber. Dude, I was looking at your bobber. And I felt why, why is he watching my bobber? I was looking at your bobber and I felt you looking at mine. <laughs> well, you were looking at my bobber because you saw it before I did and I was looking at yours. <laughs> Why'd you see it? Why is that? Why well, were you I fishing? Your, I think it's because we, we guide for a living, and so you're always used to watching, watching everyone's every bobbers. Bobber. Oh, oh, here it is. Oh! Wait, it might come back. Remember last oh, time? Oh, throw the rod down. Yeah, it'll go out that way. Just <laughs> wait. Are you kidding me, dude? Uh, that was down, gone. Hey, where's hey, my bobber? Hey, where's my hey, bobber? Hey. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> In this episode of Addicted Life, Big Dave goes fishing. I didn't even set the hook, and I can tell you right now, I have no bait. Hmm. <laughs> what happened? Sean, fish this. I'm gonna go grab my jacket. I'm gonna catch this. Mmm! Sean! Dude, it started to go under. There he is, Sean. Get him. Get him. Get him. Fish on, fish on. Sean's got a fish. Sean's got a fish. Sean took my rod while I was grabbing my rain jacket. And he's on. That thing ate it forever. Oh, it's a big one, too. All right. Look, buddy. I gave Sean the rod. We went to put our rain jackets on. <laughs> and look what happened. There he goes. And it and looks like a away, big remember? one. Yeah, I did. Oh, it's a big one. That is a toad. Next one missing bobber downs all morning <laughs> bobber down i look away oh no, you missed one i missed one yeah i went down again i hooked it oh Sean. it went down and stayed the cameraman's throwing jabs at me now Ooh, it's a hot one too yeah baby oh he's putting the heat on him these aren't your little columbia river fish sean look at that thing he's clear out there take a tip all the way down real low right there Right there, now watch he's doing something right there. Keep it right down there. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> he's doing like dolphin moves. <laughs> it's deep right there. <laughs> you look like a dolphin for a minute. All right, there you go, buddy. Good job, Sean. Oh. Check this one Ooh. out. Yeah, we'll let this fish go. He's got a little color, but man, look at the back on him. Look at that thing. That's a stud. Big fish. It's a big one. Oh, well, what do you think, Sean? Yeah. I think I'm a better bobber fisherman than Hank. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're right. All right, cool. Get him back, go do his thing. There he goes. Later, buddy. Oh, he's ready. Heck yeah. <laughs> nice work, buddy. Little cutthroat. So yeah, we, we're in a little bit of a rainstorm now. So uh, we haven't had a bite for a second. Threw the spinner out a couple times. Little cutthroat. Here he is. Here you go, buddy. All right, guys. Little mid-morning update. We uh, we had quite a bit of action. We well, I missed a bunch. Uh, Dave missed I a missed couple. You. <laughs> Sean is 100%. You know, the camera guy gets handed a rod for two seconds and catches one. Um, but there's been some action. Uh, you know, we haven't we haven't hooked a ton, but there's definitely some fish in here. I'm gonna make a quick switch over to do a little uh, bottom fishing here, just a drift fishing setup. I got just a Dave's Tangle Free there. Uh, two a nice little beta eggs with a corky to keep it floated up. I'm gonna put a couple drifts through here and then I'm gonna get back to bobber fishing and see if we can't catch another one. Stay tuned guys, don't forget, hit that thumbs up if you guys wanna see more content like this. Going old school, brah. So I'm just feeding this down, guys. 
feeding it right down into the meat of the hole here. Oh, look at that. Oh, that looks good. And I'm just slowly free spooling my line just to allow it to work down this little seam here. And when you get a bite with your drift rod, it's kind of like a rubber band type feeling. You feel kind of, it, it just like, it feels like bottom, but it's a little more like absorbent. And you can kind of feel a little chew and let them eat it and then rip their face off. Yep, 100%. Oh, he's got me in something. Okay. Got him, ladies and gents. Oh, it's a bright, bright one. Bright, bright one. Nice, bright one. It's got some seal marks, too. Survived the seal, but it didn't survive the acropa. Oh! All right guys, so I made the switch over to drift fishing like Dave said, and put it right in the spot and I missed one. And very next cast, we got a beauty on right here, so. <laughs> that was great. That boy up. A nice hen. Nice little hen here. There we go. Yeah. Right. Yeah, nice work, buddy. Yeah, it's even got a couple sea lines still. Oh yeah, sea lines. Look yeah. at that hook set. I mean, oh, very. Boy. Oh baby, must add for the win, must add for the win, ladies and gentlemen. A little old school drift fishing there, right. huh? A little old school drifting. Without the rubber band, it came alive. That's right, what a view. Nice. Fish on guaranteed, guys, stay tuned. Oh, I'm in it right now. No, did I miss him? I missed him. No, I still got him. I still got him. Yep, yep. <laughs> I called it. Fish on on camera. I told you I was getting one that cast. Oh, God, it's a real nice one. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, it's a dime, yeah, right? Yeah, it's a nice one. <laughs> All right, Sean, get over here, dude. It's a nice <laughs> one. It's a nice one. Oh, we hooked a dandy. Look at him. Oh, it's a cromer. So guys, we handed this fish off. Scare him away from that. There you go. We handed this fish off because Dave and I have both killed one. And so Sean's filming and he's going to take home some beautiful fish. So we wanted to let Sean reel this one in. That's a nice one, too. Nice one too. Dandy. Oh yeah, good one. Oh, look at that stud. Sea lies. Shabang. Yeah, buddy. Dave. Yeah. You got a pretty amazing backyard, yeah, brother. Backyard's all good. <laughs> it's always good to Sean too. I know, Sean. Yeah. He so likes this place. What do you think place. about this backyard, John? <laughs> it's the best. That's <laughs> look dandy. at that dandy. Nice. Heck yeah, buddy. Coastal Chrome, baby. Sweet. Coming at you. Stay tuned, guys. Guys, do I you? Got one. You got one. I got one. <laughs> Did you see that weird stuff? You got one. I think it just, I think my bait hit the water and it just kept going down. Because it just hit and you got one. You got one on the jig. On the jig, baby. <laughs> it just kept going. Call my mom to tell her you got one. <laughs> oh, hey, hey, hey. Take it easy. Oh, that's a nice fish. Yeah, let's see. Yeah. I like that a jumper. We kind of tricked him over here, and we got him to swim up, up off this wall. We kind of did the rod in the river trick, which we might do again here in a second. He's kind of found himself out in that current. You can kind of see he's really pulling on me, and he's using that current, but you can kind of watch. As soon as I put my rod down in the water, 
And what's gonna happen is that current now is pushing against that line and against that, and you can see it's just coming right to me. But what it's doing is it, it's getting that pressure behind the fish. The water now is, is keeping the fish tight, but the bobber's actually behind the fish, so he feels the pressure behind him, and then they'll just kind of swim right up to you. The fish thinks that since the bobber's down in the water with that loop, the fish thinks he's actually pulling from the other direction, and so it creates a bow in your line. As soon as I lift it, as soon as I lift up on that fish, there he goes. Yep. You know, it's a lot of times you're, you know, you see everyone you're always fighting him up here, here but you, know, you just watch. As soon as I, I pull back on him, he went right out in the current. Now, if I just set this down and I go real smooth, he'll just start. He'll just swim right up there. You kind of see that bobber; it's tracking up. Just tracking up river now. You try to trick fish, not fight him. That's right. Ooh, he's got some nasty markings on him. Seal got him. Seal got him. Boxes. He's what actually a nice, bright fish, yeah, man. Not a bad one, actually, at all. He's real bright. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. Little jiggy jig. Little jig. And here he is. We're going to keep him in the water. We're going to let this guy go, swim on his way, go do his thing with the ladies. What a beautiful fish, though. This would be great table fare. I mean, this is a nice, bright fish, fresh out of the ocean. You can see the sea lice on his tail here. Um, but, guys, we appreciate you tuning in. This is a, we're, this is just the first portion of this. We're gonna head up now. It's almost lunchtime. We had a real good morning here. My boots getting wet, and uh, we <laughs> had to cook one of these suckers. Yeah, we're gonna yeah. go up and uh, we're gonna take one of these fish we just caught, and we're gonna go uh, cook them up and show you guys maybe a little blackened salmon recipe, yeah, huh? Yeah, you bet. A little you Big bet. Dave style. So stay tuned, guys. Don't forget, give this video a thumbs up. If you guys want to see more of this content, those thumbs up really helps us. Share it out to your friends and family, and we'll see you up in the kitchen. Go on your way, buddy. Hold that fish. Oh, there he is, on the retrieve. On, on the, the retrieve. retrieve. On the retrieve. It was on the retrieve. Oh Good my God, I watched it. On the retrieve. On the retrieve. On the retrieve. On the retrieve. Unbelievable. No way. On the retrieve. Dude, I watched it go down. Dude, I saw it come up and just I, bury your bobber. I didn't even see it. I you was were looking, looking at me, dude, and it just at went. At right I just felt it. I was real. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. It might be a big end. Uh oh. Remember last night when we were talking about maybe we should put a little more line on this reel? <laughs> <laughs> Run, Dave. Go down the bank, dude. You gotta do something. I just gotta get the angle on. I just gotta get the angle on. Oh God, he's around the corner. <laughs> you might have to go get that little boat. <laughs> it's working. It's working. He thinks he... There we go, buddy. Yeah, just swim over here. <laughs> swim over here. Oh, that was so nuts. I thought I was happy. But you see, as soon as we got around this side, yeah. and we got that line down in the water, we got that pressure back behind him, See, now he's just all calm. See how I'm being calm too. Ooh, we're not for a second there. He's just riding the edge of that current. But what we don't want to do is, wow, that sandbar is right here. Oh, he's still way out there. <laughs> okay, nobody panic. Oh my God. <laughs> uh, uh, well, Oops. <laughs> uh, oh my well, God. I can tell you the water's a little cooler down here than in the bay, maybe. <laughs> okay, nobody panic. Oh my god! Man down! Man down! I yeah. got you, big boy! I got you! God dang it! Big, <laughs> I might have went over my waders right there. These rocks are really slippery. As you can see. You stepped on that and just went down, dude. <laughs> <laughs> that fish pushed me down. I'm gonna show him, though. <laughs> I'm gonna show him. 
Uh, oh man, my stomach. Hurt. If I don't land this one, <laughs> oh, I'm gonna uh, show him. Let's show him. Uh, okay, let's uh, go this way. <laughs> let's go Dude, this get way. A, get this man a wetsuit. <laughs> oh shoot. Yeah. Oh god, it's a big old dog. You might have to get around this corner. That was the funniest. Oh! Wetsuit and all. He just came off. Oh my god. He was right here. I had him in. Uh, At least you're not wet, buddy. Uh, well. Damn, son. Uh, sometimes uh, <laughs> the fish win. <laughs> sometimes the fish really win. Hair is wet. Not just this side. <laughs> oh my god. I got him around the bushes and then he popped off right here. Well, I'm gonna have to go up to the house and change now. Alright guys, so we're back up from the river. We're gonna have a little little lunch here. Um, this is a great way to cook fish, um, especially if you got someone who doesn't really like fish. We're gonna use some cheese and some mayonnaise, and you know that's always good, um, especially kids. Kids like it this way. So we're gonna start out. We got our nice clean piece of fish, and we're gonna go a little layer of Johnny's, good old Johnny's. Everything's good with Johnny's, right, Nick? Johnny's. Um, a little layer of Johnny's and then so we got our mayonnaise here and we're gonna put in some dill okay mm. good amount now we're gonna stir this all up so you're probably at least somewhere right in there and so we've got Parmesan cheese here and then we've got a little bit of a little bit of Mexican blend too yeah so we're gonna three, cheese. In, three cheese we're probably probably about something like that and that up, that all mixed in, and a little bit of black pepper. We'll just go ahead and put this right on the fish. Now, I'm just gonna spread this on. We get a real even spread here. Yeah. Well, you know, with the lodge in Alaska, you know, we we always eat fish up there once a week, and you'd be surprised how many people I get up that don't like to eat salmon you know and a lot of times it's probably because they haven't had a piece bled correctly or you know right. a lot of the store-bought stuff isn't going to taste like a like a wild fish especially when you prepare it correctly right, right. Yeah. your steps have Definitely. you eaten it like this before max a million times yeah. <laughs> what do you think about it it's really good Ooh. we've got another one we do that's real similar but this one with the dill and the cheese yeah it's pretty good Pretty good. All right, so that's good. And you're just gonna make, you know, your standard tin foil tray here. Um, kind of like to fold it over for a little bit, and then after the fish starts to get close, then we'll uncover it and we'll let it finish off. So just kind of get it covered up in a little bit. There we go. There we go. Okay, something like that. And you're just gonna want a, you know, a medium, medium, medium high grill your barbecue and we'll just keep that covered up for a little bit we'll check her in about oh probably six seven minutes I'm gonna turn it up a little bit medium high medium high and you know these are tail pieces right here so you know there's no bones in them which is really nice um, they'll probably take between seven and maximum ten minutes probably All right, let's give it a check here. We've probably been in here for about seven minutes or so. Okay, we're gonna take the spatula, and it's just about there. If you can get your spatula right as it's getting really close, and just kind of cut it, just push down on it and cut it into like your serving size pieces. And that'll get that to crisp a little bit around the edges too. We know you're real close, we can just take that and push it down. Now we're gonna leave it uncovered. Just like that, and we're real close. Ooh, looks looks good, good, huh? Here's here's a little tip here. You just take the rest of your little cheese here, right before it's done, get a nice little mm -hmm, right on the top of it. Then we'll go ahead and close this lid. 
give it about another 92 seconds <laughs> and we'll be right back in there all right boys let's see how we look Ooh. yeah yeah it's perfect that is perfect right there, slide her off all right here you go max and nick it looks hot yeah. Okay, it looks perfect. Um, you know, like I said, this is a great way, you know, for people that don't like fish. Mayonnaise and cheese makes things taste good, but it's, it's very surprising. You prepare the fish correctly, start with a good piece of fish. Um, this is definitely a way that people will like it um, when, they, when they don't like fish. Right. You know, if they say they don't really like it, they're like, yeah, I'll try it this way, and, and a lot of times they definitely will eat it. Yeah, great for kids, too. Great for kids. It should just come right off the skin there. Oh yeah. Maximus. Ooh, Maxo. Oh, Careful, it might be a little hot. Might be a little hot. Mm. Not the deal. Oh, there goes the taste test, ladies and gents. Oh my gosh, that's so good. Like, good for you. It's the best. God, it's that's so grade A stuff good. right there. It's Let's so see. good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, really good. Oh, really mm -hmm. good. Doesn't get much fresher either. Mm -mm. All right, guys, there you have it. Another awesome day. Huge thanks to Dave for having us out here and uh, getting some fishing. Good buddy of mine. Like I said, we have a lot of fun during the season. This is just a great day off for us. Fishing was great. Food's even better. If you guys want to see more content like this, make sure you give us a huge thumbs up turn on that bell notification, hit the subscribe button, and we'll see you guys on the water.